السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد In this week's weekly درس we will look at the foundations of Islam inshallah ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah 58 ayah number 11 يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَاتِ Jazakallah Mawla Furqan The ayah means Allah will praise in rank those from among you who believe and those upon whom knowledge has been bestowed upon. So my brothers and sisters who are listening, Try your best to gain the knowledge of Islam as much as possible, wherever it could be. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said, "Buniya al-Islam ala khams shahada: Alla ilaha illa Allah, wa iqam salati, wa ita al-zakati, wa siyam Ramadan, wa hajj al-bayt." Which means Islam is founded on five pillars. Number one, testifying. That the fact that there is no God but Allah. Number two, establishment of the prayer. Number three, the payment of zakat. Number four, the fast of Ramadan. And number five, the pilgrimage of the house. This hadith can, this hadith can be found in Bukhari or Muslim. The five pillars of Islam consist five official acts considered fard for all Muslims. If a building, for example, has five pillars and one of them is taken away, that building will fall. Islam is similar to that. If you act upon the five pillars, you'll be a successful Muslim. If one is taken away, then you will fall as well. The first pillar of Islam consists of two declarations. The first, that there is no God but Allah, which is La ilaha illallah. That is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second, Muhammadur Rasulullah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a messenger of Allah. This affirms submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala via acceptance of his message as revealed to humanity through Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The second is prayer. Muslims perform five obligatory prayers each day. If a Muslim is regular in his prayers, the Salah will strengthen the faith and his connection with the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is stated in the Quran that the basic purpose of life is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are many different ways of worshipping of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salah and Salah is the most, awwal is the most comprehensive as well. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The one who secures his salam, then it will be nur, light, evidence and salvation for him on the day of judgment. The third is zakat. It means to give donations to the needy people. It is not obligatory for every Muslim to pay. Giving donation is required when some conditions are met. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Pay zakat out of your possession of wealth and it will purify you. The fourth is the fasting of the month of Ramadan. Every year in the Islamic year, the Islamic lunar calendar of the month of Ramadan, Muslims fast from dawn to sunset. Fast is one of the most effective methods of self-purification. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has said, if anyone keeps even a single fast with silence and peace in Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make for him a palace of red rubies and green gems. Subhanallah. The fifth and final pillar of Islam is pilgrimage. A pilgrimage to Mecca, which is known as Hajj, is also obligatory, but not for every Muslim. Like zakat, it is obligatory only when a few conditions are met. The Prophet ﷺ has said, 
the haji, i.e. the one who has performed hajj, will intercede for his 400 family members and will be as free from sins as he was born on that day. These are the five pillars of Islam. To be a Muslim, you need to act upon each and every um, of these five pillars. For the next couple of weeks, I will be talking about these five pillars in much more detail. So next week, inshallah, we look at the first pillar. The week after that, we look at the next and so on and so on and so on. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he helps the Ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at this um, very weird moment where everyone's at home.